All right, guys. So today we're 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 looking at some earbuds, and I haven't listened or taken a look at earbuds in a while. But uh, these ones here, the Pamu Fits. These are these are new Pamu earbuds from a company called Padmate, and we've actually reviewed Padmate or Pamu earbuds. Uh, pretty much, I would say almost all their models since they started releasing earbuds. And I would say uh, they're probably one of my favorite mid-range, price point-wise, set of earbuds. Every one that they've sent out, I've, I've really liked. Uh, I've liked. I like the sound profile that they produce. Uh, bang for buck have been really good. So when they reached out and said, hey, we have a new Pamu Fit coming out, would you like to take a listen and try them out? I was like, yeah, because I'm down with them, right? They're, they're good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at their little sheet that they sent me in regards to some of the specifications. Uh, we're gonna unbox them. Uh, we're gonna connect them to my phone, see what they sound like, of course. Do maybe a little mic test again to see what they sound like. And uh, last but not least, they have a gaming mode. So I'm gonna connect them to my Steam Deck just to see how they uh, sound and, and how how much of a delay there actually is. Okay, so let's let's I'm gonna I'm just kind of go over some of this stuff here. So here's some of the points that they they have stated: comfortable, secure, cool, powerful bass, and that that's been something that I've noticed on on all their earbuds. They really have a focus, not a focus. I don't want to say a focus because it's not. They they. In their previous earbuds, they've got they've got really great bass, but it doesn't just have bass. It's got a really nice, pleasing sound. A consistent bass response, regardless of fit. Active noise canceling, which is cool. Clear voice communication with dual microphone and AI noise reduction. Gaming mode, low la low low latency, cool. Ultra thin uh, charging case. Dual mode master slave switching Bluetooth 5.3 and a 15 hour battery life with IPX4. Very cool, right? Uh, they do say that their active noise canceling is uh, about 20 dBs. So it's not like high, high in regards to active noise canceling, but it's, it's decent, right? We have seen some earbuds get into the 30s, but Hey, 20s, 20s, okay, and I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, dual mic noise reduction and advanced AI noise reduction, cool. Comfortable and secure, I'm down. Uh, they say that they have an elastic material that perfectly fits the ear canal, tragus, and helix. Cool, I guess. Uh, adaptive ear hook is designed to fit different shaped ears. Uh, it's a semi-in-ear design. Uh, it's custom fit for up to 70% of users. Now this is this is kind of important. You think 70%, but every one of us has different, you know, ear design, you know, we the different sizes. So having it fit 70% actually probably pretty good. Uh antimicrobial coating for skin friendly design, cool, and 5.5 grams, which is also nice. Uh, what else do they have? 13 millimeter driver unit with titanium alloy composite diaphragm and four layer voice coil uh, for you tech people out there. Uh, four layer coil plus precision magnetic circuit design plus titanium alloy composite film. Yes, it has that. I don't. Wide sound stage, cool uh, optimum field design, cool versatile performance, 13 millimeter high power speaker, uh, dual host switching. A lot of things that I'm like, cool. Uh, I think the dual host switching is so that you can use either of the headphones or earbuds as a single if you want, or of course as a stereo pair. Uh, ultra low latency, they say as low as 70 milliseconds. Uh, slim charging case that's 20 millimeters thick. Oh, that's that's small. Bluetooth 5.3, uh, low power consumption, IPX4, and LED indicator. All kinds of coolness. All kinds of coolness for sure. Okay, so let's let's close this because we don't need this anymore. And my phone. I got my phone. Put that over there. This 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 is this is the this is them. Pamu, Pamu fits. Yes, there's the back if you guys care at all. You may, you may not. I don't know. Uh, 
It's a tight box. <laughs> it's a very, very tight box. Oh, come on now. Oh my gosh. So is that, is that the case? Sweet deal. Check that out. That is fantastic. Like, yes, please. Those are awesome because normally you're getting cases that are way bigger. This gets 15 hours? What? I love the white. They, they really do have a look like almost like a in-ear monitors if you were to put the cables on them. Oh, I like those. I like those a lot. USB-C charge. Yes. I don't want to pop them out yet. What's in the box? Those are sweet. Now, I don't have a price on them as of yet, uh, but I will put links down below to where you can hopefully find that once uh, that's available. Uh, USB-A to USB-C cable. Again, small. And a little manual. So you got, it looks like uh, probably Chinese on one side and English on this side. More information and safety information. There's a QR code. Uh, where warm tips and safety, warm tips and safety information. That's, that seems weird. Uh, how to power on and some other small text that I'll have to look at. So I have to kind of, the only one I kind of want to fear, it says triple click for active noise canceling and quadruple click for game mode. Okay. That, that was the ones I was like most Curious about curious. I'm hoping these have a charge, right? So first off, let's get my phone out here. That's those are off. If if looks matters, I'm down with these. These are uh, these are dead sexy. I think dead sexy. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring up my Bluetooth here. We're gonna scroll to the bottom. Man, look how tiny. Did you, uh, did you see how small that is, that is? My goodness. Okay, taking this out. Check that out. Hey, and it does. See how the, the Bluetooth is flashing there? Yes. What is going on? Just somehow just clicks on your ear like that. You guys see that? There they are. Pam who fits. Boom. How, how crazy are these? And you just kind of. What's cool about them is they, unlike a traditional earbud, earbuds usually like they go right in your ear. Like they have to go right in the ear part, right? But these, because of the way they're designed, you kind of just push them in like so, so that they, they're not actually going in your ear hole. <laughs> I know, sounds fun to say, your ear hole. Oh, I'm totally down with those. Connect right there, you, can, you guys can see it connected, yes. So it did say something about triple click for noise canceling. Where's the button? One, two. Okay, there's, so the button is th there. Uh, it, it just turned on, right? Do I just tap it once? They sound really good. I got music playing right now, yeah? But, okay, I'm gonna tap, hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, there it is, ANC on. So, yes. I'm just gonna stop it. Yeah, and you can you can definitely hear that there's some noise canceling for sure. I wouldn't say it's like the highest level of noise canceling that I've heard, but it's definitely there. And if you one, two, three. Yeah, it's it has and it has it just it, it, like an on and off mode. It's, it's the button's a little because I think you just gotta get used to just tapping it, right? Because you're you're at least for me, I'm reaching for it. Where's there a physical button? And it's just a tap area. So it's like one, two, three. See, I missed it again. One, two, three. Okay. No, it's, it's good. It's fine. The sound is fantastic. And if I crank these up. And honestly, you could wear these forever because they are not actually going into your, like into your ear holes, whatever, your ear canal, whatever that's called, right? Stop. Okay, that's all right. I, I'm down with that. Um, we will do really quick here. 
uh, we'll do a um, mic test just to see if we can get something like that going. And let's just spin the camera around here and we'll do a, because the mo it monitors, right? So let's just come back here and three, two, one. Okay, so this is actually recording through the Pavo Fits, so you guys get an idea of what the mic is like. It sounds like the mic should be doing good. The monitoring through it sounds decent. So I, I think they should uh, be great for calls or if you're on a Zoom call or whatever you're doing or just doing some recording. I think they, they should be decent. So that's all right. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now is we are going to forget them from here. Number one, we're forgetting them. Yes. So first thing I want to try is again inside my Bluetooth here because this is, this is important. We have those PAMU fits. Yes. So I'm going to do this. Put these back in so they kind of go like and there's a little light right the little like activation light that kind of charging yes uh, see the little white lights i love these i do i have to say right and then there's your little little charging indicator on the earbuds themselves showing that they're charging and they've disconnected here which is good which is good okay so that's enough of that now they have gaming mode. Yes, they have gaming mode. So I'm going to turn this on because we're steam decking now. Oh yeah, we are. We're steam decking. So now I want to make sure that I have these set to forget them. So I'm going to forget that. If not, they'll connect automatically to this. Ready? Popping these out. It's so interesting. Again, they've gone into pairing mode. Update. Hold on. Now, while that's happening, ready? Oh, I guess it has to pair first. So on my Steam Deck here, we are going to uh, settings, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Yes, we're seeing all kinds of, there they are, Bluetooth fit. Oh, they, they were there. Stop it. No, this one. I don't want this one. Forget this device. I hit the wrong one. This one. Here we go. Ready? Connected. Boom. So now, one, two, three, four. Gaming mode on. Okay. Let's find a game, shall we? Let's just find a quick game. Doesn't have to be anything overly exciting. We're just going to go into my library. And we will play some Forza. Because I just bought Forza on here. You guys can see what Forza looks like on the Steam Deck, and it's it's good. I have to say, it's good. So we are in gaming mode right now. If this if this is like zero delay kind of stuff, or like no, not enough delay to notice it, then I probably will just, these will be my Steam Deck earphones because I need a set. A nice wired wireless set for playing can be good. All right. Let's just get into the game, shall we? Now, the one thing you can't have on is gaming mode and like active noise canceling because I think one just you can't have one with the other, so it's one or the other, as far as I can tell. So far, everything seems to be on par. Like, once the screen shows up, the sound starts up automatically. Now, just on a side note for you guys, what's amazing with games like this. You know, on the Xbox, like Series X, you know, you have to run it off the internal drive. You have to run it from a super high speed drive, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is running off a micro SD card. <laughs> like, yeah, it takes a little longer to load up, but the fact that it runs off a micro SD card, how crazy is that? So crazy. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, I seem to have gone, gone the wrong way already. It's hard. I'm trying to let you guys see the screen. All right. I think I'm turning this way. Here we go.
Yeah, no, it's it's good, right? Is there a, there might be a, a tiny bit of delay, but like squealing tires and you know, oops, again I suck because I can't quite see the screen because it's not quite pointed at me, but oh, nothing that would you know hinder me. If you're, it's not as if I'm doing competitive gaming, right? Oops, 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 oops! I missed my spot. Oh no! All right, you know what? You don't need to watch me play this forever, is what you don't need. So I'm gonna pause that right there. Yeah, you know what? They work. It's good. I'm uh, I'm pleased. You know what? And then again, when I'm finished, which is awesome because these are tiny. What I need now is a case, just big enough that these fit in. Because then I can take these and just be like, bloop, bloop. So is there a delay? <sighs> It's hard. If there is, it's hard to tell. I, there is. They even say there's going to be a little bit of a delay, like 70 milliseconds, right? I don't think it's enough for the majority of us that are uh, just like consumer gamers. We're just, you know, have fun gamers like me. I just, it's fun to play. It's not as if I'm competitive gaming. If you're into competitive gaming, I would say you'd want wired, right? Because you want instant reaction, uh, hear everything like perfectly. But for the rest of us, these are awesome. And I don't know if you noticed... You may have noticed, you may not have noticed. I've noticed that these aren't focusing. Right, there we go. What I did notice is how small they are. That is fantastic. Like, I am so down with these. All right, guys, I'm going to leave links to where you can uh, find these over at uh, Padmate's website. And that's it. Uh, that's it. It's a, it's a total win. First year, total win. Um... I love, I love how small they are. Oops. And they disconnected. As you could tell, as soon as I started playing, the sound came back here. So that was also good. I'm just going to turn this off. Shut down. Yes. Yes, sir. And uh, that's it for today. These are the Pamu Fits. Uh, super cool. Super cool. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you fine folks uh, next video. Later.